you asked and we answered. Let's make some real estate videos. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to create this classic real estate property presentation look with 3D room labels and swift speed transitions. Let's get into it. So we've got all this beautiful footage of a villa with shots of different rooms. The first thing we'll do is place all these clips in their separate compound clips. Like this. As an example, let's start with this bedroom shot. I'm gonna go inside the compound clip, open M extension, and from M software I'll grab M tracker 3D and drop it onto the footage. Now let's track the shot. Once it's tracked, I'll head back into M extension and choose one of the real estate elements from tracker 3D. For this demo, I'll use a label that marks the space and show its size. I drag it over the footage, copy the track from my shot, and paste it onto the element. Now that the track is applied, I can start adjusting the element, changing the size, font, label text, colors, whatever I need. I mark where I want my object in the shot, and it sticks right to it. I'll also switch up this reflection here for a cleaner look. After a few tweaks, the room is nicely labeled and fully tracked. So I've repeated the process with the other clips, as you can see. Everything is nicely labeled and tracking. Now let's create these smooth speed transitions. You can use a speed ramp, but I prefer doing it manually, so I blade cut the clip, and then set the speed segments to 20, 8, normal speed in the middle, and again 8 and 20%. I also limit the transition between the speeds so the motion feels smoother. Again, I've repeated the process for the other clips and now the camera glides seamlessly from room to room. Now here's a bonus tip. If your shot allows it, use an object like a plan or doorway to sell the 3D realism of the label. For example, here I duplicated a shot, I used MRoto to mask out a plant and placed it on top of the label. Just a neat little trick. For finishing touches, I add an adjustment layer, drop in motion blur AI, and set it around 40%. This gives the movement extra smoothness. If you really want to elevate the look, you can even add a bit of sunlight with M Flare. Just a subtle beam of light makes the property feel warmer and more inviting. And that's it. The classic real estate video style you see everywhere online. Now you can recreate it yourself in just a few simple steps. Follow us for more tutorials like this and let us know which real estate effects you'd like us to cover next.